This is one of those reels that you gotta like way over fill because when you go to stretch the line, you get it back and you not even filled it up the whole way. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah, Dad, get the net. Yep. Yep, that's a real big one. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Yep. Where'd you get big one? Dude, that's a five. Look at it, hey. That's a five. Old Thunder Cricket. I mean, just a stuck him, dude. Whoo. Hey, dude, that old boy wasn't going nowhere. Good, dude. Hey, ain't that fun? Golly. That's awesome, man. Whew. That's fun. Mm. Yeah. Four nine. Four nine. Man, she does have a belly. See you later. <laughs> oh god dang, I just got a hammer. There he is. Can you back need it? Megan? No, no. I mean I annihilated it. Knocked the shit out of it. That's pretty good. Hey, we're working on pretty good fish, huh? Do you need the net? Yeah, get the net. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't need the net. You need the net? Oh, Lord of mercy. Hey, I mean, <laughs> hey, he stuffed it. Hold hey, on. Just I'm stop talking, for a minute. I'm Look talking. at that. I mean, stuffed I'm that crankbait. Let me tell you how it's going to do it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> it. Bad. He's hooking the tongue. Got it. You get him? Yep. There you go. Dude, that's a little chunker, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's two and a half, ain't it? Yeah, he's a fatty, man. Awesome job. Get back in there, girl. Oh, she got some pads. Feel her pads. Uh huh. There she goes. Hey. Well, hey, man. Good job. What was it, a carp? Yeah. There he is. I watched him eat it. He followed it. It was a, it was a damn ball of bait he was hey. chasing. Hey. And they were following that, ja that hey. dang going thunder cricket. He come up under the boat and ate it. <laughs> hey. Now we got us a limit, don't we? Lord of mercy. That was awesome. That was an awesome bite. That was an awesome experience. I felt them shad popping around on that thing, and I felt him coming up, and I knew that he was it was gonna get eat. That was a really fun fish catch. Yeah, hey, right. that was freaking awesome. That was fun right there. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that fish catching footage. I have to say you cannot complain when you catch a four pounder first thing in the morning and then end up catching a bunch of good keepers throughout the day. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the bladed jig I was throwing, and this is one that has got a lot of hype and a lot of attention over the past few weeks, and that is the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Now this thing is something, and I have quickly fallen in love with it. But now that I've had a chance to fish it um, over the past couple of weeks and just really put it through the paces, I thought I'd kind of talk to you guys about it, kind of talk to you about what makes it different, and then talk to you about what I'm actually throwing it on um, and why I'm throwing it on the rod that I am. So let's talk about the Thunder Cricket. Now I know a lot of you guys throw the Jackhammer which is a awesome bladed jig and will this thing ever replace the Jackhammer? Absolutely not and it never should because the way that this bladed jig is designed and the way that the Thunder Cricket is set up it's something that is completely different than what the Jackhammer is. It puts off a totally different sound signature, a totally different vibration signature and it just acts completely different in the water. So don't get rid of all your jackhammers just yet and don't replace them all with thunder chickens just add this to your toolbox because this thing is something like i said it's just a little bit different i really compare it to 
comparing a red eye shad and then a red eye two tap shad. Um, the two tap is something completely different than the red eye. Now, are either one of the baits better than the other? Absolutely not. But can you catch fish on one or the other depending on the situation you're in? Absolutely. And you know that's something that I've discussed on this channel. I feel like this and the jackhammer is the same situation just because of the way this bladed jig acts in the water. So the main deal with this one is how the blade is designed and how it's actually attached to the head of the jig. So as you guys can see there, it is attached to the head by a free swinging system. So it's got a little bit more free range of motion up top. And then that blade design is something that is completely different. You have the rounded off edges on the blade design. It's kind of almost got a, like a, looks like a nipple, <laughs> the best way to describe it. So it's just got a little bit different blade design. And what that does is it gives it a completely different vibration. This thing vibrates and activates very, very quickly. Whereas a jackhammer or any other chatterbait for that matter it kind of has like a thud it's like a da -da 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 -da. this thing almost acts like a lipless crankbait in the water it's a very tight fast vibration it's like a and by doing that like i said it just gives you something completely different than we've ever had in a bladed jig before and i've been digging it i think it's one of those things that you know you could go behind guys throwing a normal bladed jig and pick off a few fish that would not eat that one and eat this one it's just like again the red eye shad and the two tap a completely different sound signature another thing that i dig about this bladed jig and about the thunder cricket is that hook it is an absolute beast it is a four aught owner flipping hook and that thing just straight gets them and when it gets them it does not let go and when it comes to fishing bladed jigs when it comes to fishing jigs when it comes to fishing swim jigs you want that you want a hook that gets them and won't let go and that one does that thing is super strong it's super sharp it's super sticky and as you guys saw today i had to dig that thing out of some of them's mouth really get in there and uh get it out because when it gets in there it gets in there and it stays and honestly guys like i said i've fallen in love with this little bladed jig it's just something different i love the way it acts in the water and really it's almost like fishing a crankbait for me um, because i do actually fish it on a cranking rod and it i can get it in places that i wouldn't normally get um, a square bill or something like that and get it out of those places and it's just a big fish bait you guys know bladed jigs chatter baits the thunder cricket the jackhammer whatever iteration that you like to fish of that bait it is just a big fish bait well let's kind of talk about the specifics of the day what i'm actually throwing paired up with it and what i'm throwing it on so i'm actually got it paired up with a menace grub um, i'm rigging it horizontally i mean vertically instead of horizontally just like i do on my swim jigs and then i'm actually pairing this with a very uh different kind of rod and this is kind of going down that a train of thought that a lot of people are going down with bladed jigs and I'm throwing this on a cranking rod This is a David Fritz seven and a half foot medium heavy perfect cranking rod by Luz and this rod is a wicked cranking stick you can throw 6xds on it 5xds on it um, but i found that it is the perfect bladed jig rod because of that moderate action it's got just a little more forgiveness so when those fish come up behind that thing and they eat it it lets the fish really get a hold of it and then once you lay into them that moderate action really drives that hook in and it doesn't give those fish and it doesn't give that bait that much of a chance to pop the fish's mouth open and actually pull it away from the fish it really lets the fish get it and then drive the hook in which i think is really really key um, because unlike a swim jig you know with a swim jig a lot of times i'm hopping and i'm popping and i'm kind of letting it die and then i'll reel it and i'll hop it over something with that bladed jig you're just moving it you're moving it you're moving it. it's a lot like a spinnerbait you're moving it and you're moving it and you're moving it and so when those fish actually come up behind it and eat it you want them to be able to really get it into their mouth and get a hold of it before you set the hook on them. And that modern action rod, that crank and stick, allows you to do that. And then I've got that paired up with a 6, 8 to 1 gear ratio lose super duty and then some 15 pound copolymer. I'm still experimenting with the line. I've gone between 12 pound. I didn't really like that. I felt like it was not heavy enough for how I was fishing this bladed jig. I've done the 15 and next I'm going to experiment with some 20 pound. And I really think the 20 pound is where I'm probably going to find um, kind of my happy medium when it comes to this line. But like I said, guys, overall, very, very satisfied with this 
Thunder Cricket and it is something that I'm going to get a lot more of and I'm going to keep in the boat and I'm going to fish throughout the spring and throughout this summer because again I think it's going to be a very very key tool for me. But as always guys thank you for watching. If you got any questions or comments please go leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel make sure to hit that like subscribe and notification bell. Also go down in the description I have links to all my partners like AFCO, Lose, uh, Strike King. You guys can go check out everything that we were throwing today. But as always you guys are sweet Thanks for watching.